Web 1.0 were the benzodiazepines, things like Xanax and Valium, not great for sleep. Second wave, the Web 2.0, those were things like Ambien, Lanesta, Sonata. Both of those drugs worked in a very similar way where they go up to your cortex and they tickle a, a receptor called the GABA receptor, GABA, G-A-B-A. And it's the major neuroinhibitory transmitter of the brain. So when these drugs flood your brain, they just hit the red light and they stop neural firing of the cortex. Essentially, they sedate you. And sedation is not sleep. But when you take an Ambien, you mistake sedation for sleep. Mm -hmm. It's not quite the same. It's not naturalistic sleep. But after we realized by way of the story of narcolepsy, that narcolepsy patients, they don't have this chemical orexin and they're falling asleep inappropriately during the day. Well, think about what insomnia is at night. Insomnia is almost the opposite of narcolepsy, which is that narcolepsy patients, they're falling asleep during the day when they want to be awake.